Sprite, or split pool recognition of interactions by tag extension, is a method used for unbiasedly mapping genome-wide, higher-order interactions between DNA molecules. First, cells are dual cross-linked with DSG and formaldehyde. Cells are lysed, and the DNA is fragmented using sonication and DNA sync. Cross-linked lysate comprising of DNA-RNA protein complexes is then covalently coupled to NHS ester beads. DNA is blunt-ended and DA-tailed using end repair and DA-tailing enzymes. DNA phosphate modified adapter, or DPM, is ligated to the ends of end repair DNA. Four additional rounds of split pool tagging, odd, even, odd, and terminal tag ligations are performed. We refer to each series of ligated tags, shown here, as a sprite barcode. Split pool tagging works as follows. We first split the sample 96 ways into a plate of barcoded tags. Tags are ligated and the sample is then pooled into a single tube. Five total rounds of split pool tagging are performed to achieve over 8 billion unique combinations of sequences. High throughput sequencing identifies DNA molecules that were present in the same cross-linked complex. The experimenter can construct the higher order maps of DNA interactions in the nucleus at various resolutions. Prepare for the sprite experiment by cleaning benchtops, pipettes, and equipment. Plan out the day so that the procedure runs smoothly. Transfer NHS beads into a clean 1.7 ml low bind tube. Place the tube on a magnetic rack to capture the beads. Remove the storage buffer and wash beads with 1 ml ice-cold 1 millimolar hydrochloric acid. Wash beads with 1 ml of ice-cold 1x PBS. Add 500 microliters of coupling buffer to the beads. Vortex to mix. To resuspend the lysate to a final volume of 500 microliters, add coupling buffer to the DNA lysate. Vortex to mix. Start coupling by transferring the diluted lysate to the NHS beads. Vortex to mix. and then place the beads on a rotator overnight at 4 degrees Celsius. Place beads on a magnet and remove 500 microliters of the flow through. Quench the binding reaction by adding 500 microliters 1 molar tris pH 7.5 to the beads. Incubate on a mixer at 4 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. Wash the beads twice in modified RLT buffer. To reduce bead loss, we recommend washing the beads by moving the beads back and forth on the magnet as shown here, rather than by pipetting up and down. Next, wash the beads three times with Sprite wash buffer. All washes are performed with buffers containing detergents to prevent beads from aggregating or sticking to the tips or sides of plastic consumables.
Next, we will blunt the 5' and 3' prime ends of the DNA molecules to prevent unwanted ligation. Add the following end repair mixture to the beads. Incubate on a thermal mixer for 15 minutes at 24 degrees Celsius, 1200 RPM. During the incubation, make the master mix for the DA tailing reaction. Once the end repair reaction is complete, remove the tube from the block, touch spin, and magnet separate. Wash the beads once with modified RLT buffer and three times with Sprite wash buffer. Spin the beads down quickly in a tabletop microcentrifuge and place back on the magnet to remove any residual liquid. Next, perform DA tailing. Add DA tailing mixture to the beads. Incubate on a thermal mixer for 15 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius, 1200 RPM. Once DA tailing reaction is complete, remove the tube from the block. Touch spin and magnet separate. Wash the beads and remove residual liquid as previously shown. Now, we will tag the DNA molecules with unique DNA barcodes by performing split pool barcoding. Here, we will show one round of split pool barcoding in detail. The same procedure is repeated over multiple rounds to uniquely tag all molecules in the sample. The first round is DPM ligation. Let's begin. First, accounting for bead volume, add dilute Sprite wash buffer to the beads to achieve a final volume of 1.075 ml. For example, for 2 ml of beads, add 950 microliters of diluted Sprite wash buffer. Aliquot 92 microliters of beads into each well. If there are any remaining beads, aliquot into a well to be distributed into the plate. Aliquot 11.2 microliters of beads into each well of the 96 well plate that contains 2.4 microliters of the DPM adapters. Be careful to ensure that there is no mixing between wells at any point of the process. Use a new pipette tip for each well. Carefully add any remaining beads to individual wells on the plate in 1 microliter aliquots. Aliquot 6.4 microliters of ligation master mix into each well, mixing by pipetting up and down 10 times. Be careful to ensure that there is no mixing between wells at any point of the process. Use a new pipette tip for each well. The final reaction components and volumes for each well should be as follows. Seal the plate with a foil seal and incubate on a thermal mixer for 60 minutes at 20 degrees Celsius, shaking for 30 seconds at 1600 RPM every 5 minutes to prevent the beads from settling to the bottom of the plate. After incubation, Centrifuge the plate before removing the foil seal. Quench the ligation reaction by transferring 60 microliters of modified RLT buffer into each well of the 96 well plate. Pool all 96 stop ligation reactions into a second sterile plastic reservoir. Transfer the ligation pool into a 15 ml conical tube and magnet separate. While the beads are magnet separating, rinse the reservoir with 1 milliliter of modified RLT buffer to collect any remaining beads and transfer to the collection tube. Dispose of modified RLT buffer in an appropriate waste receptacle. Resuspend beads in 1 ml Sprite wash buffer. Transfer the bead solution to a microcentrifuge tube. Wash three times with Sprite wash buffer. 
remove any remaining liquid. All tagged complexes have now been pooled into a single tube. You are now done with one round of split pool barcoding. We will repeat this process for four additional rounds using the odd and even tags, ending with ligation of the terminal tag. As before, add dilute Sprite wash buffer to the beads to achieve a final volume of 1.075 ml. For example, for 2 ml of beads, add 950 microliters of diluted Sprite wash buffer. Aliquot 92 microliters of beads into each well. If there are leftover beads, aliquot into a well to be distributed into the plate. Repeat the process for the remaining 4 Sprite rounds. After five total rounds of split pool barcoding, barcoded DNA is ready to be eluted from NHS beads and reverse crosslinked overnight. Resuspend the beads in Sprite Pro K buffer so that the final beads and buffer volume is 1 ml. Remove eight 5% aliquots into clean 1.7 ml microcentrifuge tubes and elute the barcoded DNA from the beads. This serves as an additional round of barcoding so that the total number of unique barcode combinations exceeds the number of DNA molecules in the sample. The remaining lysate on beads can either be stored in modified RLT buffer at 4 degrees Celsius or also eluted in 5% aliquots. Incubate at 65 degrees Celsius overnight. We will now transfer eluted material to a new tube. After reverse crosslinking, the barcoded DNA is no longer covalently linked to the beads. Magnet separate to isolate barcoded DNA, which is now in the supernatant. Place the microcentrifuge tubes on a magnet and capture the beads. For simplicity, here we are showing only one transfer. Repeat this procedure for the remaining 5% aliquots. Transfer supernatant from each aliquot into eight separate microcentrifuge tubes. To maximize recovery of barcoded material, rinse the beads with 25 microliters of water. Vortex and recapture the beads. Transfer supernatant from each aliquot to its respective tube for a combined volume of 125 microliters per tube. Discard the beads. The sample is now ready for a library amplification. Refer to the Sprite protocol for details on how to proceed. Here is an example bioanalyzer trace of a DNA Sprite library after PCR amplification. Great work! Now the sample is ready for sequencing.